Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. You already know what it is. It's Marshayla Monique. And for anyone who has watched like my weekend vlog or whatever, if I even post it, this is going to be confusing for you. Because I'm recording two videos at once, but today in this video, we are going to do a hoopty tour. Okay, so we're in a hoopty right now. What I need to do first before anything is go to the car wash. I'm going to take y'all with me to do that. Um, right now, I need to go to the store and get cash back because the... Um, car wash only takes quarters and they don't take cars and stuff like that. So we're gonna clean it out Y'all gonna clean it out with me and I'm gonna show you what the hoopty looking like okay? okay, we are at the car wash and I'm so happy because I thought that there was gonna be like a lot of people here and like <clears throat> I get weird so there's not so I'm gonna be able to set up my tripod. So yeah, I'm so excited <laughs> Okay, wash is done. Now we need to clean. I really want to dry the outside, but I'm going to do that like out in the sun and then we'll go from there. So let's drive over to the vacuums. The, the camera was splishing and splashing. Hold up. You don't want to hit this. Let's get this shit. is all clean but my camera is about to die so i have to go home charge it up a little bit and then we'll get into the actual tour and what's in my car okay so camera's charged up we are back in the car so I took a nap and I look bald head and whatever. <laughs> Literally doesn't even matter. So, um, a little bit about my car actually. It is a 2013 Kia Forte EX. It is black. It is, um, it is, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a four door. And,. I have a love and hate relationship with my car because sometimes I feel like it's a lemon just because of how much money I've had to put into it. Um, I'm not gonna get into like how much I pay for it and stuff like that because I really got my head rocked and I don't feel like embarrassing myself on this app today. So yeah, I really do love my car. I love that it's all black. Um, it's just really, really outdated, but it gets me from point A to point B and it's been getting me to other states. So let me just show y'all a little bit of the car. There's not too much, but then I'll tell y'all a little bit and then I'll tell y'all like what I actually keep in my car and what is like essentials to keeping your car. So here's an overview of just what the front looks like. Um, pretty simple, pretty basic. And then in the back seat, there isn't really much besides a cup holder. Um, in the back seat, there really isn't anything special for people that are driving. What's this? For people that are driving passenger, they get some cup holders. They get um, some storage right there. But I only, I think that the this is actually only on this side. There is not one on the other side. 
um i think that door actually has child lock on it too up here on the dash um let's look at how many miles i have <laughs> and then also on the dash i have um that t low tire pressure symbol that does not go away short story time um this one time i was trying to do something with my tire and accidentally pulled off the whole like tire valve so i had to get it replaced but we had to get it replaced with something that was really cheap so that symbol is never going to come off unless i replace that valve for like 200 dollars. so yeah whatever um and yeah guess but i they i just found out that i'm able to use cruise control on my car i literally I had no idea that like I was able to use that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start using that whenever I take road trips and stuff like that. Um and on a steering wheel, nothing too fancy here. You can turn the volume up and down on here. You turn the volume up and down on here. Um this changes the stations if you're doing that. And then this changes stations as well. I'm literally just figuring this out. Oh, let me start using this. Cause what? You could put it on MP3 mode. Cause that's what I always use. And then mute. You can mute it too. Um, and then over here, this is where the back up. This is the cruise control button, and then this is how you control the cruise control, and this is how you shut it off. So, yes, and then over here, we just have your basic stuff, you know, your air, all of that, whatever, um, AC, back, uh, back um, windshield or whatever it's called, and then for the air to actually circulate the car. Um, like I said, this car is pretty outdated, so this is like your old standard, um, like what would you call it like radio system or whatever it even still has like the cd slot i don't know if newer cars have that but um that's not something i ever used got the emergency brakes here and then um one of my favorite things in my car of course is this little um phone holder i wish that i could hold my camera in it i've tried but it just doesn't work i'm gonna eventually need to get a second one and probably put it up here for my camera um because it's just way too hard trying to attach like a what is it called like a, a tripod onto here those like bendy ones um and then back here this is just like your air bag and then the time and the weather is over here which i really do appreciate it's just like since i have this here now i can't really see the the um weather anymore now let's get into some things that i have in my car so something that i think oh it's hot y'all i hope y'all can hear me so some things that i think is really essential to having your car is on my um is it called a prindle whatever it's called i always have hair ties or i always have hair ties in there um for some reason i have my wallet in here well, one of my wallets there ain't nothing in here ain't no money um but yeah and then I always keep that. I always keep my like, ponytail holders and whatnot. Then in here is where I hold my room spray actually from um, Bath and Body Works. This is the best thing for your car and it's super long lasting. I promise you. And then I have that hair tie again. I have a charger in here. I have something from when I got my car fixed in here. I have this body spray in here that is about to be gone. I have a spare key in here. I have Carnegie um, Carnegie Museum of Art and Natural History in here. And then I have another hair tie. And then I have two lighters because you just never know. Um, let's see what else. But yeah, since I travel so much, like in my car recently, I always have to make sure I have a car torture. That one I probably paid like $20 for because I needed it to be good quality um because that is like super important there's no way you can go without a car charger and sometimes my ports don't work just because the car is a little bit older um but it does what it needs to do and then in here i have oh god it's so hot outside that like this is literally liquid that's crazy actually um but i have vaseline in there and then i have this small little pouch here which has an extra pair of underwear it has um some hand sanitizer and then it has my extra um ooh, this is 
is doesn't feel good. It has my extra little scent things that go into this that is also from Bath and Body Works. A lot of people have these. They don't really have that much like smell. I mean, you can smell a little bit, but like not super crazy. And I just got a new one, and I really can't smell it, honestly. Um, I have an extra of these in here, and y'all see them. I just got these today. These are just air fresheners, and the scent for this one is Sunset Beach. It smells really, really good. Um, next, I have some Tums because your girl has stomach problems. I don't care. I got another pen in here. I got some chapstick in here. Some lip gloss in here. And then um, some uh, Tylenol. Don't know why. Uh, I was actually sick recently. Um, so, yeah. It's essential, ladies. It's essential that somewhere in your car there's an extra pair of underwear. I don't care if it sounds weird. But you literally never know what could happen. You never know what could happen. And trust me, having an extra pair in here has saved me plenty of times. Because, you know, like, auntie like to show up whenever she wants. Okay. This and I wish that this was kind of like bigger and had more space. It was kind of like spread out more, but it is not, and that is okay. Whatever. Um, so in my glove compartment, department, whatever, I have some body spray. This is Fresh Gardena um, by Bath and Body Works. It smells really good and and like really mature. I'll say. So I use this if I'm going to like an event or something that's like fancy. Um, super essential i have deodorant in here spray dove deodorant um this is super important and this saved my life many of times and it saved some other people's lives many of times um also i have in here is just this little bag this is where i really put like feminine products in because that's also important to have in your car ladies and also i realized the other day that there's like quarter dollars in here dollar quarters these things whatever these this is like a dollar um and i had no idea those were in there so yeah i also keep napkins in here too which is really important to keep in your car because again you never know what can spill you never know and me like things just always happen so it's just like a given to have those type of things in here um so yeah there's that and also back here in this little like storage Thing that's on the back of this chair I have a lip roller I have an umbrella which I have another umbrella in my trunk as well and then I have two more body sprays because you never know what set you want to mix up so I got these as well and then um, it looks like there's actually extra charger back here that I didn't even know about so that's cool I wish that this car had like a charger port for the people that ride in the back seat because I always have people in my car y'all so I try to keep it like cool comfy you know what I'm saying um also just to show y'all what I have here so I have this dream catcher that used to be purple and blue and I got this because my mom's favorite color is purple and my dad that passed away his favorite color was blue so that was just a friendly reminder of them I guess and then this right here um my friend's mom actually gave this to me um she is a medium she got this for me to protect my car at all times and protect my space at all times because honestly y'all you could be a really good driver but it's about the other people around you so you just never know so baby i'm blessed and highly favored at all times thank you period um so i love this if you're a spiritual person i would say this is essential to keep into your car because i promise this is i feel like this has saved me a few times so yeah and then i just have the scent thing that i just showed y'all the sunset and then i have my um tassel that was on my graduation cap really just a friendly reminder every day like i work so hard for this um i remember being in college and getting my car in 2019 and it was literally just a game changer for me and it like it just made things so much easier for me even though the pandemic happened directly after like getting my car was just like such a big accomplishment for me it still is even though i talk a lot of shit about my car like i am so happy that i have a car i'm so happy that i could get from a to b because there was a time where i had to depend on everyone else so i do appreciate my car it does what it needs to do this is my safe place me and my car have had so many moments together me and my car have had happy moments together sad moments together scary moments together uncertain moments together so like i do appreciate my car and i'm thankful 
I'm thankful to have a car, you know? Even though it wasn't the greatest situation, like, I'm thankful to have that. Up here in the sunglass thing or whatever, I have more hand sanitizer because y'all keep in mind, whenever I got my car, well, it's good to have hand sanitizer in your car at all times just because, like, you may come out of a restaurant, you may come out of the bar touching people, like, you don't know. You just need to be, you know, careful. And also got my car in 2019, pandemic hit directly after, so there's, like, three things in hand sanitizer sitting around in here. So I have that in there. Um, what else is up here? I have, what is this? A Rite Aid receipt? Why? I don't know why I have a receipt to Rite Aid. I have um, the hotel key card from the hotel that I just stayed in in Maryland. And then I have the parking garage ticket to the airport. When I used to work at the airport, you used to have to swipe this to get in and like park. And I don't know why I still have this, but I do. I'm a memory hoarder, so I hold on to like the most random things ever. So yeah. Overall, what to take from this video is for the ladies, the most essential things to have in your car, extra lady products, extra pair of underwear, um, lotion, which I usually have in here, but I don't know where it's at, um, spray, body spray of your choice, um, deodorant, of course, and then ponytail holders. Those are your essential things. Also, ladies, if um, I used to have like a spin and knife, I don't rip or any streets anymore, but I used to have a spin and knife bag in my trunk. Right now, my trunk is empty and it just has, um, it has like coolant in it, windshield washer fluid in it, which is important as well. And then I have extra um, hubcaps for my tires because mines fall off so much. But having an extra bag of clothes is also important to have in your car, um, which I'm probably gonna do that again because you just, honestly, it's not even like having a sneaky link, it's just like you never know where you may have to crash sometimes and you wanna be comfy. So yeah, those are important to have in your car. Um, and also, I would highly, highly suggest to get yourself one of these room sprays from Bath and Body Works because this will keep your car nice, fresh, and smelling bomb. Anytime people get into my car, like, oh my gosh, your car smells so good. I'm like, girl, I know, period. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I also use these sometimes. These are like little clip on scent things, but they really do not last long at all. I actually need to take these upstairs and throw them away. But, um, yes. So that's honestly all I really have in my car. Um, I washed my car today, which I need to start doing more often because I used to be super obsessed with keeping my car clean. And like once I'm with the filling and stuff, like I kind of just let my car just do whatever it wants and there's just stuff everywhere. But thank y'all for tuning in to another video. This was really fun to make this. If y'all want me to make a video about actually like buying your first car, leasing your first car and those type of things, definitely let me know because I don't want y'all to be in the same type of situation as me. Like I said, I'm blessed to have my car, but I am not in the greatest contract. So if y'all want more details about that, just let me know but um i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here so you already know what it is and you already know what it ain't and i will see y'all in my next video bye